What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today's going to be the first installment of a new video series where we're going to show you how to specifically target some muscles. Let's get into it. So I'm starting to warm up the back and we always warm it up with long effleurage strokes. This is long glides and we're not going deep yet. Even if you're a deep tissue therapist, this is not the time to start pressing really hard. And because our focus is going to be the levator scapula, which is deep to the trapezius, we need to really focus on warming up the top layers of muscle first before we start to get in there. One of my favorite moves to do this is to take my knuckles and then work them in a circular pattern right where his neck meets his traps. And you want to be using more pressure as you're pushing outward and then back off the pressure as you're coming back in. Once it's warmed up enough, from there we can then start to work a little deeper. At this point I'll switch into my forearm. But I'm still not going very deep yet. I'm controlling my forearm's pressure to give it deeper and broader, but this is still not deep tissue. And as we work the traps, they're going to start to let go. And then you can start to sink in a little bit. And with the upper traps and levator, I find it's a lot better to sink into the pressure when you're going backwards. So here I'm still pretty light. And once my elbow reaches the top of his traps at the base of levator scapula, then I'm going to sink in, I'm going to hook, and come back down the traps with more pressure. And of course, this is not a race because deep tissue always needs to be done slowly. From there, you can support the shoulder, use your fingertips to kind of get more specific. And once the traps have fully let go and we have access to the deeper muscles, then we can start to come in and really focus on the attachments. So levator scapula attaches at the superior angle of the scapula, which is the upper angle there. So you wanna make sure you come in and work not only that base, right there, but then it's gonna run up to the transverse processes of C1, 2, and 3. So you have to follow it up to the side of the neck as well. And as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of using my thumb. So you'll see I'm using my fingers and the thumb is just there to support. 
All of the pressure is coming from all four of my fingers. How's that feel, Andrew? Feels good. From there, I can then go in with my forearm and the elbow. Taking my ulna side, I'm going to run that right up along the traps and the levator. And once it kind of allows me to sink in, right there, then I'm going to bend my arm. That's going to extend out my elbow. And we're just going to hold that right against the base of levator scapula. And this is some pretty deep pressure, so make sure you're checking in with your client and that they can handle it. And it let go, so then we always follow through. From there, I'll then go across the body. As a final move, I'll stack my fingertips and then use leverage to pull his levator scapula back. And this is going to open up his shoulders, his neck, help with any arm or hand numbness he may have. And of course, further release levator scapula. Make nice after you're done with the deep tissue work. And then you can move on.